Well, we just laid Tippy to rest. And with death, there always comes new life somewhere. Well, as we were walking back from laying her to rest in our orchard, um, I found in my garden frames that onions and spinach was growing. We've been having a really, really mild winter. We've been having temperatures in the upper 50s to lower 60s. So I'm not surprised that they're growing. But now it's starting to get cold again. And so we decided to try to make a, a cold frame. <clears throat> and um, so we're going down past the pond where we've kept some of our windows and seeing if we can find some to make a cold frame. We have had a ton of rain. I'm not even sure how many inches we've had. At least six, eight inches in the past couple of days. This is our second pond. It almost hardly ever has water in it. We've never seen it this full. And you can see the runoff here that's going into it. The way up, a lot of our field is flooded. And then we have our other pond over here. And it's up past almost, well, looks like it's not other side, it's like hit the banks. Do you find some windows? Okay. So here's our pond. The beginning of another pond. <laughs> so we've got to get this cleaned up. But our calves are okay. Steve checked our water break. I think that's what it's called today. You can hear the creek running, that's for sure. So I think I'll go down and check out the creek here. As I get closer, you can definitely hear the creek running. It's normally a wet weather creek, so it only holds water, it only has water in it whenever it's been, <clears throat> we've had a lot of rain. I wish this is how it was all the time. This is gorgeous. If you watched our other video, um, a walk in the woods or a walk in the creek, um, then you can just see that there's like little pools of water. And the majority of the creek bed is dry. Well, now you can see we've got an actual running creek. Like I said, I really wish that it stayed like this all the time. Because I just think it's beautiful. This is definitely a project for the near future. Water gap, not water break, water gap. That's what I was thinking of. Anyway, a project for our future is to clean this out, clean the debris out. And hopefully get this to be a full-time running creek again. Beautiful. I love the creek. Okay, now it's time to go back and check on our cold frame that Steve is making for me our temporary. Yep, we are back at the house now. After a little romp through the creek. Now we get to see the cold frame.
Oh. Right in here we've got our two windows on top of one in our one of our covers that Steve had built to keep the animals out of it. So we'll come out and we'll check on this. Make sure that it gets water when needed. It won't need it for a while after the rain we've had. And check on our onions and our spinach.